Hey everyone, I'm Marcos and I'm Moxie Boosted and welcome back to the second session of VGC Best of Three Battles with viewers. Once again, if you guys want to join me for these, go ahead and join the Discord. I'll be looking for battles there. It's linked in the description down below. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitter in case I look there. Uh, once again, in the description down below. But yeah, um, the reason I'm doing this again is because unfortunately, I have some kind of shadow ban online because of some disconnections. So I'm not able to do ranked. Uh, hopefully that'll be gone soon. But even once that's gone i will be doing vgc viewer battles with you guys in fact i'm probably doing them live on twitch right now so go ahead and check that link in the description because i'm probably streaming when this goes up but the team we're going to be using today is my rain team i built a little while ago we got assault vest crafty focus sash pelipper choice specs dragapult life orb dreadnought uh, citrus berry rotom and special defensive leftovers ferrothorn and today we're going to be facing marquise uh, i like to extend a special thank you to him for uh, doing this with me because it's really hard to find battles uh, that aren't online at the moment. But for me, it's even harder to find battles that are online ranked because of that weird shadow ban that doesn't let me find battles. So yeah, uh, let's go ahead and get into it. I'm actually really excited about this because I recorded one literally minutes ago and I changed my shirt and put on a hat. So there's a little bit of, you know, continuity, not really continuity, but uh, so you guys don't think I'm just dressing the same every day. <laughs> But yeah, so it looks like they're running uh, what might it might be a Trick Room team. So we have what I'm assuming is Eviolite Corsola, a Appleton, Mimikyu, Gyarados, Darmanitan. I am so scared of Darmanitan. Darmanitan's just a huge threat. And uh, Chandelure. So um, I'm not even sure if Chandelure gets Trick Room, but I know that Mimikyu does this gen. So I need to be careful about that. It looks like Ferrothorn is going to be my best friend, but I have to be really careful with it uh, because Darmanitan and... Uh, Darmanitan and Chandler both have access to fire type moves. So I think my best lead is all out rain offense uh, with my Dreadnought and Pelipper. And I'm going to go ahead and bring Ferrothorn in the back to deal with a couple of threats like that Mimikyu and the Darmanitan in case they do lock themselves into something that is like an ice type move, which will help me out a lot. Uh, and I think maybe Scrafty. Let me take a look at that team one more time. Scrafty looks really nice. It helps me deal with Corsola. Uh, and because it's a salt vest, it should be able to take a couple of hits from Appleton, as well as that uh, Chandelure. So let's go ahead and get into it. Yeah, I'm honestly just really concerned <laughs> uh, about my ranked online thing, because I wanted I wanted to ladder so bad. I was so excited about the rank system, but unfortunately for me, server issues got me kicked out. So that's, that's real fun. So let's see what we're facing here. What you got for me, Marquise? Porcelain Mimikyu, double ghost lead. Um, what I'm concerned most about is having my Dreadnought get burnt here. But I also don't have anything in the back that wants to get burnt either. So it seems like my best play is to deal with this Mimikyu immediately. I'm going to go ahead and just go for the Scald and a Rock Slide to possibly get a flinch. I will be the fastest thing in the field, and because of that, I am also going to be able to break that Mimikyu's disguise if I do land this. Unfortunately, because I'm all physical attackers and I didn't bring that Rotom, I literally cannot afford to switch in anything else because they need to deal with things uh, a lot more important than this Mimikyu. Also, the fairy typing on Mimikyu would make it so Scrafty isn't, isn't an ideal switch at all. So that's something. Uh, I'm also not very familiar with Corsola's bulk in this format. I know Eevee like Corsola is a huge threat. It's able to take hits extremely well. Uh, but it looks like I got that critical hit. That's a crit on Corsola from Life Orb Dreadnought. Are you kidding me? That's a crit? Ah, that's that's insane. Okay, so we're going to get 1 16th or 1 8th health from that Mimikyu. About the same as a Life Orb. While the Mimikyu Swords dances, I might be able to get a burn off here, which is going to be really nice for me. Uh, but I'm hoping just to get the straight KO. Let's see if he goes for that Will-O-Wisp into that uh, Dreadnought this turn. But let's see. Can I burn? I get the burn. That is so lucky. I'm, oh, we get the flinch. This is the luckiest turn I could have gotten. It is absolutely the luckiest turn I could have gotten, uh, which is, you know, unfortunate for my opponent, but I'm I'm okay with it, to be honest. Uh, I'm expecting a Shadow Sneak to come out this turn, so I'm just going to go ahead and Scald and Rock Slide one more time. Uh, because Oh, Rock Slide, Cursed Body. Cursed Body just disabled that. I completely forgot. All right, so my best course of action is probably just going to be to Scald into that Corsola. Uh, and go for this liquidation into that Mimikyu. I don't want to Dynamax my Dreadnought just yet because we have to be real careful about that. Uh, if I end up losing my Rain and my Pelipper, uh, then the only way to get that Rain back up is going to be through Dynamaxing and Max Geysering. So 
let's see how this plays out for me. I got so lucky that first turn. I kind of feel bad about that. It's like the polar opposite of the last uh, session I recorded because that literally just ended with me uh, taking a crit into a flinch from a from an iron head and losing me the game from that. So that was a little bit annoying, but I took it on the I took it on the chin, you know. I took it on the chin. You have to keep moving forward. Let's get this liquidation off into that Gyarados. It's not going to do too much because it is resisted and at minus one. Ooh, that actually did a little more than I expected. And I get the defense drop. Oh my god. I I feel bad. I legitimately feel bad about that. Because now it doesn't take another one very well. It, it'll probably live it. I get the... This is the lucky... Oh my... I got a message this guy. Sorry for so many RNG stuffs. <laughs> like, I, I just got a message him. I feel bad. I got so lucky this first turn. Dude. Alright, well, I feel like my best play is definitely to Tailwind up. Or just go for the Scald, dude. Let's just go for the Scald. I'll double up on you. Uh, of course, that doesn't mind the burn too much, but it is going to be really annoying. Uh, but this Scald into Liquidation should KO. He does not choose to Dynamax, which is what I expected, to be honest. Uh, let's see here. Dragon Dance from the Gyarados. I might get a burn. I don't expect the Scald to KO. It might, though. It's rain boosted, but Gyarados is uh, pretty decently specially defensive. Let's get the Scald off. And it just barely lives. Do I get the burn? I do not. Here's the Strength Sap. It's going to get a lot of health back, and it's going to lower my attack stat even more. Horsla is going to be annoying in this game. I guarantee it. Horsla is going to be really annoying in this best of three. I have to keep my... Uh, I have to really keep my Scrafty healthy to deal with it. So it seems that my best play is probably going to be to uh, go for another Skeleton to that Gyarados. And I'm st I still can't Rock Sled. I, c I still can't Rock Sled, so um, I'm just going to... Hey, do I switch out here? I feel like I always switch into my Scrafty. Um, because Gyarados isn't a threat to Scrafty, and I doubt he'll go for the burn this turn, if he has it. I feel like he's pretty confident just going for Strength Sap. This is also going to lower the attack stat of that Gyarados, making it, uh, so if, since it is going to outspeed my Pelipper, it, uh, won't be able to get off too much damage. There's the Ice Fang, let's see if he gets that Freeze of the Flinch. That is a decent chunk, even without the attack boost. That is concerning how strong Gyarados is. But that is good. That is really good information for me. Uh, that'll make it so I know not to bring in my Dragapult versus this thing. And they do opt to go for the burn. Alright, I felt safe staying in, but that burn on that Scrafty is going to be a little bit annoying. Uh, Corsola is probably just going to wear down my entire team. Slowly. I, I fully expect this thing to be the last thing on the field uh, on their side. But, um, let's see. Darman... Oh. God, Dermanitan. He's on the field. He's ready to take lives. I feel like I always... I feel like I always Tailwind. And just try to max Knuckle this thing. No, I shouldn't max Knuckle. I always just close combat, don't I? This Tailwind will make it so if he doesn't target me, I can outspeed him next turn. And uh, the close combat will do a decent chunk. Uh, it should live it because I'm, I'm at minus two from that burn. So... Uh, this will at least make it so... Uh, oh, here we go. Here we go. All right. That thing is going to be a threat. Gorilla Tactics is going to destroy me. Let's see what he goes for. If it's got Rock Slide, it should go for it here, I think. Uh, because that will get rid of my rain and make Dreadnought slower. And my close combat isn't going to do anything to it now. Max Hailstorm into the Scrafty is going to do a ton. Oh my. That's a neutral hit? That's a neutral hit, and it did that much. Okay, let's think here. Uh, Tailwind is going to help me out here, because even though the rain's gone, I will outspeed this Darmanitan. So I'm really glad I did that. Close combat. Ooh, is that a crit? That's not a crit. Okay. I forget. Uh, Darmanitan just has extremely low bulk. There's the Strength Sap into my Scrafty. It's going to do a decent chunk uh, to my attack stat, which is already really low. So I feel like my best play here is going to be to Scald into that Darmanitan. And uh, that, that should pick up the KO because we're in rain. Especially since uh, Close Combat did that much when I was burnt. So let's think about this. Um, I can keep Scrafty. I can just, you know, switch Scrafty out for 
probably my Ferrothorn, I think. I think I brought my Ferrothorn, 90% sure. Yeah, I should switch out Scrafty for my Ferrothorn and keep the Fake Out in my back pocket. Or no, I really should just keep Scrafty in the field, I think. Yeah, that doesn't make sense to bring out anything. Uh, I always just double target into Darmanitan, and I'm probably going to win with my... Ooh, that didn't KO. Can I get a burn? No? All right. We do have speed because that Tailwind was just really nice. Uh, that four speed investment on my Scrafty is going is going a long way. So I'm going to pick up that KO. And Darmanitan's going to drop. Darmanitan's so scary, man. There's the Will-O-Wisp onto my Pelipper. I guess that makes sense. Even though I'm not a physical attacker, that's going to wear me down a bit. And it's not like Corsla gains too much uh, by going for anything else. Uh, I mean, it could Strength Sap again, but it's already at, like, full health, and my Scrafty's going to go down this turn. But good news is, uh, I still have my Tailwind up, and if Scrafty dies from this burn right here, which I believe it will... Oh, it's going to live on one. That's a little annoying. That's a little annoying, I'm not going to lie, because I really, really wanted to uh, get my Rain up, or keep my Tailwind up. But I suppose I can always just double out... Not double out, but I can just switch back into my Ferrothorn here, and eat the hit. Yeah, I'll just eat the hit here with my Ferrothorn. Let Scrafty go down, and then I can bring back in Pelipper. We still haven't seen a Dynamax, though. So, I guess it would make sense for either the Corsola or the Mimikyu to Dynamax. Um, they also might just forfeit here because uh, they can conserve information that way. We've only seen one attack come out from the Mimikyu. Or, not even an attack. We've seen one move come out from the Mimikyu, and it was... Uh, it was... I can't think of the word. Uh, Swords Dance. So, we're going to lose Scrafty there. And Mimikyu is Life Orb, so we get some information there. There's the Ancient Power. It reveals its last move. Ancient Power is interesting. It can raise it can raise every stat on that Corsola, and uh, it is able to hit things like uh, Charizard and uh, and Frost Moth if it ends up encountering them. So here we go. Uh, I should just win here with Pelipper and Dreadnought. So I'm going to switch in Pelipper right now because it's going to boost Dreadnought's attack with uh, Liquidation. So, I believe I am able to just win now. I can get a Leech Seed off into that thing uh, and just wear it down for the rest of the game. But Corsola is just, it's too bulky. It's too bulky, man. It's got low HP, right? But it's defense and special defense are crazy with that Eviolite. Light. And we'll get a Scald off. And hopefully with burn plus uh, leftovers, it shouldn't be able to outstall me with anything. Cursed body? Alright. Yeah, that cursed body's annoying. There's the strength sap. It's going to get a lot of health back here. Probably max health, to be honest, considering uh, the low HP stat. Let's see. Yeah, almost, almost max health. Almost right back up. But I should win uh, the War of Attrition right now with Leech Seed and Burn. Because I can go for a uh, Hurricane into a Gyro Ball. Yeah, I don't believe they have any outs. Especially since they don't have Toxic. Uh, they can only win by... I mean, I don't think they can win anymore because Ferrothorn can't be knocked out. He can burn me, but uh, I should always win in the end. Because of Burn plus uh, Leftovers. Or Burn plus Leech Seed. So I think I just go for the Power Whip. I go for the Power Whip, I go for the Hurricane. Or I could also just Dynamax Max Geyser right here for the KO. I guess that makes the most sense. Not risk anything. You see, I don't want a Gyro Ball on that Corsola, because they're not really all that fast. So Gyro Ball wouldn't do that, wouldn't do that much at minus one. And uh, Power Whip also has a chance to crit, so... Or has a higher chance to crit, so it's able to deal more damage in the end. Let's see how much this Max Geyser does. I don't think it's going to KO. This thing's too bulky. We saw how well it took the Scald the first time. Yeah, that thing holds on forever. There's the Will-O-Wisp. But I think I just win now because the second Max Geyser will do it. Let's see if I get the KO with this. That did nothing. I mean, I know I'm at minus one and stuff, but... Jeez. All right, burn and leech seed. Yeah, well, just leech seed. That pick up the KO. Oh my god, Orsula is a freaking threat. Orsula is a threat and a half, to be honest.
Okay. I would like to receive their lead card. Yes, thank you. Please and thank you. We'll go ahead and play with the same rules. Um, adjustments I should make. I don't think there are many. I kind of want to bring Dragapult because it deals with Corsa a little bit better. But I feel like I always bring the same thing. Go Team Yell Captain. I feel like I should always just bring the same setup. Uh, but I need to be a little bit more careful with Scrafty. Uh, it, the game would have been a lot easier if I kept Scrafty at the end. And I need to make sure nothing gets burned. So maybe maybe I should bring something like uh, like Rotom, which is really defensive and deals with... Uh, it deals with Darmanitan pretty well. Along with that, I can't get burnt. So I don't need to be scared about switching it into a Will-O-Wisp. All right. Let's think about this. So an adjustment they could make, uh, seeing that I did really well with rain, is possibly bring Appleton, which would be able to, it'd be able to just eat up rain hits because it times four resists them. I don't think I'm gonna make any adjustments. I think I always just bring the same things. Or maybe I lead off with rain this time. I mean that's what I did last time. I think I just lead off with rain again. I'm not too concerned about Darmanitan anymore. Uh, now that I know how well Scrafty is able to take the hit. I mean, it doesn't take it well at all, by any standards, but it takes it well enough, you know? Alright. Corsola Appleton. So it was the adjustment I expected. Um, I could go for a Hurricane right here and a Rock Slide and try to get a flinch off. But if they Gigantamax, they're not Gigantamax. If they Dynamax their Appleton, they can prevent that entirely. I'm thinking my best play is to. I think I always just Hurricane the Appleton and Heart Switch out into something that can take that hit a lot better. Uh, I don't mind if Ferrothorn gets burnt because it's more meant to stall in this game. So if he does go for the Will O Wisp into my Dreadnought, then I will be able to take it with Ferrothorn relatively well. All I really lose is Leftovers Recovery. And, and my attack stat, of course, but um, the attack stat's a little bit... It's kind of irrelevant in this game. They do not opt to, di they do not opt to Dynamax, and Appleton just hangs on by a thread. And it eats the berry. Let's see if Ripen activates. It does not, so I'm assuming this is Thick Fat Appleton. And Appleton goes for a Leech Seed onto the Ferrothorn. Uh, there's the Strength Set. He was probably anticipating me to switch out into, like, Scrafty or something, which would uh, make, make a lot of sense, but Ferrothorn is my safer bet. I think here I always just Hurricane the Appleton and get a Leech Seed off into that Corsola. Even if I get burnt, it's not that bad. Yeah, I don't mind this too much. Um, a, something they could do is switch out into... I guess if they want to bring out yeah, let's see. Let's see what they bring out. Probably Darmanitan. No, Mimikyu. All right, that makes a lot of sense to be honest, because they can burn me this turn, and then uh, Ferrothorn just isn't a threat to Mimikyu. I'm gonna break the disguise though, which is really nice. Uh, if they burn my Ferrothorn here, I'm doing like nothing to Mimikyu anymore, even with Gyro Ball. There's the Strength Sap, and I think I always just uh, double into the Mimikyu here and attempt to get a KO. Something with me, with VGC, I like to play a lot bulkier, but I've realized that this season, like, Hyper Offense is actually kind of really good. Uh, I have a team coming up with Dracovish, which is just straight up Hyper Offense. So I'll just double into this Mimikyu right here. Uh, if I get burnt, I should still be able to pick up the KO uh, because of the Skull damage. They might not opt to Swords Dance now, knowing that burn is possible. They might just go for the Direct Attack. There's the Gigantamax. Alright, so Mimikyu's definitely going to take this hit. It's not going to enjoy the Skull, but it's going to do a lot of damage. If it goes for the Max Phantasm, then uh, my Ferrothorn's attack's going to get lowered a bit, making it so I'm not doing too much. Or is it Max Phantasm that lowers the attack, or is it uh, or is it the Dragon move? I forgot. I believe it's uh, I believe it's Max Worm when it does that. There's the Max Starfall. Definitely going to be going into my Pelipper right here. And it's going to... Oh! That almost KO'd. 
Misty Terrain is going to go up kind of irrelevant in this game unless they go for a Will-O-Wisp, which is an effect they might have overlooked. Uh, I know I would definitely overlook it right now. There's my Scald. Oh my god, that was a crit. No burn, though. There's the Ancient Power. They did not overlook it, and they double into my Pelipper, going for the safe Chaos. There goes Pelipper. My best source of rain is now off the field. Uh, I need to... I need to play my rain a lot more carefully now. But I do pick up the KO with the Gyro Ball. Uh, yeah, dude. I, that that skull did too much. And I'm going to wear down this course though a little bit. Uh, but with Pepper, Pelipper off the field, Appleton's a lot safer. It takes hits from both Scrafty and Dreadnought pretty, pretty well. But I think here I always switch in Scrafty to get some damage off on the... Get some damage off on that Corsola. Here's the Appleton. Now I don't mind the Appleton too much, but I how do I how do I say this? I need to target down the Appleton since I have Dreadnought on the back. I can't afford to keep that on the field because if it does go for an Apple Acid or an Energy Ball, Dreadnought just drops. So I feel like my best bet is to just Poison Jab it immediately, since I will outspeed it. There's no need to fake out, and I can. Misty Train's on the field, so I don't need to worry about getting burnt. I can just hard switch in my Dreadnought here and just always get the KO on Appleton immediately. And that is going to reset my Ferrothorn's attack stat, which is really, really nice. Here's the Poison Jeb. And that's going to KO. Let's see what their last Pokemon is. I don't think they've revealed it yet. There's the Will-O-Wisp, and they did overlook the Misty Terrain. Yeah, with, with how, like, with how slight the terrains are in this game, with how, like, just on the surface of the field they are, uh, it's really easy to forget about it. Especially since it's no longer on, like, the bottom screen. With the Switch, it's a lot easier to just forget, you know? Uh, but the Intimidate is going to scare me a little bit because now, even though my Dreadnought's faster, um, the Gyarados is going to be doing a decent amount of damage. Uh, after living the hit. So I believe my best play here is to Dynamax and Max Knuckle while also protecting to boost my attack. And then from there, my Rock Slide should KO Gyarados. I haven't been counting my rain turns. I think I'm out of rain. I might have messed up really bad. I might have messed up really bad right now. Because if I'm out of rain, I'm in trouble. Alright, Protect on the Dreadnought goes off. Max Knuckle will boost my attack a bit. There's the Waterfall into my Scrafty doing a decent chunk. I can't get flinched though, so that's really nice. And this Max Knuckle boosting the attack of my uh, Dreadnought will most likely allow me to KO this Gyarados. And I'm hoping I still have a turn of rain yet. <laughs> There's the Strength Sap. The rain stopped. Okay, this is no longer good. We are no longer in a bueno situation. Because that Gyarados could easily just go for some really crazy stuff. It could it could flinch my Dreadnought and KO it now. Um, it, could, it could flinch me. Like, that's what I'm mostly scared about. I think I always just max darkness the Gyarados and go for this rock slide. I, I'm, I'm honestly very concerned about that. He opts to go for the Scrafty. Here's my rock slide. The Corsola avoids, so that's, that's a little bit unfortunate, but I believe I pick up the KO on the Gyarados now at plus one. Oh my god, it lived. How do you live that Gyarados? I mean, it doesn't matter too much because Max Darkness goes off, but how did it live that? It was already chipped. Like, I'm not at plus one. I was at neutral because of the Intimidate, but still, that took it really well. The only issue, though, um, is I have not... Did I burn the Corsola? I forgot. Uh, if I didn't burn the Corsola, there's a slight chance it could actually outstall my Ferrothorn. Because it can burn me and then strength set me forever. So if it lives in max darkness, then I'm in trouble. Which it, it could possibly. I believe my Scrafty's at minus one. It's not. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot I max knuckled. So this, this max darkness should do a ton to this thing. And I can go for a liquidation as well. 
and they are just going to forfeit. So that is going to be game. I, I was able to pick up the win in this best of three. Corsola is so, so bulky. It was always the last thing standing, and I feel like that's how it stands for most VGC games with Corsola on it. It's so bulky, guys. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much to Marquise for playing with me. I really appreciate it. Uh, thank you for everyone for watching. If you guys want to join me in a battle, go ahead and click that link in the description for the Discord. That's where I'm looking for battles. And yeah, with that, I'm going to call it, guys. Everyone, be sure to leave a like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.